5 Fast Facts You Need to Know About Annie Jump Cannon The Google Doodle on December 11th celebrates one of America's most revolutionary astronomers. Annie Jump Cannon would have turned 151 today. She is known for creating the Harvard Classification Scheme, which classifies stars based on their temperatures. Here is what you need to know, number 1, Cannon was completely deaf. She was completely deaf after suffering from scarlet fever, when she was in her 30s due to this, she never married as she found it difficult to socialize. Cannon contracted the fever, while she was in Europe to photograph the 1893 solar eclipse in Spain. Her work there was honored at the 1936 World S Fair, her work was given the title, in the footsteps of Columbus. Number 2, her mother gave her a love of the stars. Cannon got her love of the stars from her mother, while she was growing up in Dover, Delaware, in the 19th century. Her mother, Mary Jump, taught Cannon about the constellations and encouraged her daughter to follow her love of science at Wellesley College in Massachusetts, where Cannon majored in math and chemistry. Her father, Wilson, was a shipbuilder and state senator. Cannon's mother was Wilson Cannon's second marriage. Number 3, she was at a loss after her mother died. After her mother died in 1894, Cannon became more interested in education, as the loss made her want to get away from home. Since graduating from Wellesley in 1884, Cannon had lived back at her family home in Delaware. She worked for a while at her alma mater, Wellesley College, while she also studied for a master's in astronomy. Eventually her work there took her to Radcliffe College, where she enrolled in classes so she could use their state-of-the-art telescopes. Number 4, she catalogued 500,000 stars during her time working at Harvard. When she finished her studies at Radcliffe, she got a job at the Harvard Observatory, working for the renowned Edward C. Pickering. It was there that she developed her system for classifying stars. During her time at Harvard, she catalogued 500,000 stars. You can listen to a documentary about her time at Harvard above. Number 5, the American Astronomical Society hands out the Annie Cannon Award every year. She died in April 1941 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, at the age of 77. In her honor the American Astronomical Society presents the Annie Jump Cannon Award to the best female astronomers. The winner of the award in 2014 was Emily Levesque.